Welcome to the Pyramid Insider, friends. Today, we have a brand new one in the Seneca line, the Dragon Claw 2. So the Dragon Claw 2 was announced kind of out of the blue a couple weeks ago uh, at the beginning of August and is a new take on the original Dragon Claw, powered up. So uh, it has some different features, but is largely the same. Most of the changes have been internal, uh, so you're not going to see them until you put it over the chronograph and you're looking at those velocity and power figures. But we'll run through the gun since we've never really looked at a Dragon Claw in depth before. Uh, we will do that now and get into the details. Now, of course, the Dragon Claw is made in South Korea, uh, and we'll start at the front of the gun, give you the lay of the land here. You do have a threaded muzzle cover. Um, I can't remember exactly what metric thread it is, but I know Donnie FL makes an adapter, so we have that on the website if you're looking to quiet this down, because like most big bores, it is quite loud. Um, but dropping down, you do have a dual air cylinder setup on this gun, and this is 500 cc's of air capacity in total. The gun fills to 3,000 PSI, and and you fill it by way of a quick disconnect here uh, on the end of the bottom cylinder. And you got this little magnetic cap there. Uh, you do have open sights on the gun. I've removed the rear sight here to fit the scope better, uh, but you can certainly buy higher mounts and clear the uh, rear sight if you need to, but it's fully adjustable and you've got a fixed front blade if you prefer to shoot with open sights. The overall length and barrel length are unchanged from the original Dragon Claw. You're about 42 inches or so overall and just under 22 inches on that barrel length. Now this is a 50 caliber rifled barrel. Uh, it's gonna shoot 495 to 498 sized projectiles best, not a true 50. So more of your uh, 50 cal muzzle loader ammo. And of course you can also shoot the air bolts out of this, which is one of my favorites. Uh, and with this power up, I'm very curious to see what this thing's gonna do with that 430 grain bolt. But of course we'll deal with that when we get out to the range. Now on the underside of the four stock here, you do have your pressure gauge that's color coded. Again, 3000 PSI, right around 200 bar is the fill pressure on this gun. So very easy to achieve regardless of what you're filling this gun with. The loading process on the Dragon Claw 2 also unchanged, but a little bit different than a lot of other air guns out there. So this is a breech cover here. You just slide that forward. You load your projectile right in. You're gonna wanna seat it in as far as you can with your finger there, uh, and then slide it back over, make sure you snap over that o-ring to get a good seal there uh, and that's loading in a nutshell so you can have this gun loaded and uncocked if you need to if you're in a blind or something like that uh, or as you're walking out to your stand maybe in the dark so you're not fumbling with ammo or anything like that once you get into your stand or your blind now moving back, the big physical change on the Dragon Claw 2 from the original Dragon Claw, and really the only way you're gonna know this is a Dragon Claw 2 is this cocking lever. Now this cocking lever does actually ship with the gun removed. So you're gonna get it like this. This is gonna come with the gun. Uh, kind of looks like an audio jack uh, almost type thing for your headphones or whatever. Um, but you are just going to slide it into the bolt and press it in. It's really simple, very easy to install. Uh, quite frankly, the old style was much smaller than this. You could only get about a finger over that old one and you had to screw it in. So it was a little bit more of a process, uh, but you have more purchase here. So much easier to uh, cock the gun. You would still have that first click, that first power setting, and then full power is two clicks when you're pulling it all the way back, but very easy to do in general. And then to decock the gun, you just hold the bolt back, pull the trigger and slowly release it. Very easy to do overall. And of course you have your cross bolt style safety down here. So this is a actually push through in the hot position, fire ready to go. You got that red ring right there. You just push that across and now you are safe. Now the trigger is non-adjustable and it is on the heavy side as far as big bore triggers go even in today's market. Uh, they can break anywhere from six to seven and a half pounds or so. Uh, so definitely heavier, uh, but still it's not gonna hinder you or anything from getting decent accuracy. Of course, we'll show you that, but it is gonna take some getting used to if you're used to a lighter trigger. At the top of the breech here, you do have an 11 millimeter dovetail. It's a relatively short rail section here. Uh, so your mounting options are gonna be uh, really important to make sure you get the right mounting set up for whatever kind of scope you're running. Uh, I've got a Manus three to nine by 40. It's got a milled out reticle, very simple scope. I'd go hunting with something like this just to keep it simple. Uh, but overall, you know, very easy interface to use. Again, 11 millimeter dovetail, that's the important part. Sliding back, you do have a raised cheek piece. Uh, lefties, I think you're gonna be just fine uh, getting down on this gun right over here. 
here. Shouldn't really be an issue, even though it's not a raised cheek piece for you. You do have some stippling on the grip area and of course a rubber butt pad at the back. But before we head out to the range, I wanted to talk about some of those internal changes that have been made to get more power out of this gun. Real quick, let's do some comparison on the performance specs here. So the original Dragon Claw, 230 foot pounds max, that's gonna be with like a 336 gram projectile. The Dragon Claw 2 is gonna be putting out about 350 foot pounds of energy with that same 336 gram projectile. You're gonna get right around 680 to 700 feet per second with a 177 grain round ball out of the Dragon Claw, the original. The Dragon Claw 2 is pushing that same round ball at over 850 feet per second. So big velocity changes and obviously big energy changes as well. And Air Venturi and Seneca have done this by way of making some internal modifications to your hammer and your valving. It's very simple. Uh, what they didn't want to do was increase the hammer spring weight, which a lot of tuners out there have done in years past. And there's nothing wrong with that, but it makes the gun harder to cock. And by also making the gun harder to cock, it makes the trigger heavier as well. So two things that Air Venturi didn't want to do because it kind of encumbers the user experience. It makes it worse, right? Uh, so you've retained your same trigger function, same easy cocking, uh, especially with this longer bolt without damaging the uh, kind of end user experience, making your life and my life easier while giving us more power, which is awesome. But let's see if it lives up to what they're claiming. Let's head out to the range and see what this gun does. All right, stretching the Dragon Claw 2 out to 45 yards with the Mantis 3 to 9 by 40 scope on there. Uh, starting with the Air Venturi 336 grainer. So uh, you got three shots there in an inch and a half center center grouping. That's just fine. Honestly, uh, 50 yards or so, you are going to be perfectly fine with this in a hunting scenario. This is just fine accuracy for taking game. Uh, I'm probably gonna have the power to boot. We'll get to the chronograph numbers in a second. But those Nielsen's, the 235 grains, a little bit better at an inch and a quarter. Now you'll notice those last two shots went into the same hole there. So um, some pretty solid accuracy, honestly. I, I wasn't quite sure what to expect. It's been a while since I've shot a Dragon Claw for accuracy, especially at this distance. Um, but certainly, like I said, good enough to hunt with. Now let's talk chronograph numbers, all right? So these 235 five grain Nielsen's, you are looking at speeds upwards of 750 feet per second. I believe we topped out at 755. Matt's going to put the numbers down here for you guys. Uh, but that is almost 300 foot pounds. Now what's significant about that is that is more energy out of a lighter weight projectile than the original Dragon Claw produced with a 336 grain slug. So way more in fact. That's almost 70 foot pounds more than this gun used to top out at in the old version. So a huge power increase there which is awesome, but even more power coming out of these 336 grain Seneca slugs. Uh, these are pushing right around 690, I believe is where we topped out at, which is over 350 foot pounds. It's rated for 340. It's pretty damn good in my opinion. And of course, we can't leave the air bolts out. You've got a 430 grain bolt here covering a uh, 590 foot per second, I believe, speed, uh, which is phenomenal. Now this is rated with this bolt at 600 feet per second. So we didn't quite get there, but you're very, very close. It's well over 300 foot pounds, I believe around 330 or so. Um, absolutely monster power out of this bolt. And of course, you guys know we've done it before in the past. Accuracy is certainly there, but if you want to see it again, maybe even with some broadheads now that we have a wide selection, we can do that in a future video. Sound off in the comments and let us know. But accuracy, velocity, energy is all very, very solid out of the Dragon Claw 2. All right, so the new Seneca Dragon Claw 2, this gun's got a lot going for it and retaining the same price point. I believe it's right around $720 right now. Uh, where that'll go to in the future, of course, I don't know, but uh, same price as the original Dragon Claw, which is awesome to see, and you've got way more power on tap. So we actually exceeded uh, what Air Venturi and Seneca are claiming this gun's gonna do. We got 355 foot-pounds of energy out of those 336 grain slugs, uh, which is awesome to see. Very solid downrange accuracy. This is gonna be a a great 50 yard deer gun, uh, hogs, whatever you're going after that's kind of in that size range, this thing's going to do with ease. And of course, uh, one of my favorites, you throw an air bolt in this and you are getting almost 600 feet per second out of this. There's nothing that's going to stop that bolt once you throw a broadhead on it. Um, you, and you're going to need a very, very, very strong target. I will tell you that now uh, if you're going to be shooting this thing with those air bolts. So keep that in mind. 
Um, but you are getting a lot of value added into this Dragon Claw 2 uh, that really brings it up into the conversation of current big bores on the market today. While it is still on the lower power side, uh, it's much more than obviously it was before, which is going to make your life taking game with this gun much easier. So definitely one to check out, especially if you're a first time big bore uh, air gunner looking to get into the hunting space. This is going to be a great option that has a lot of versatility. So one I definitely recommend checking out. Uh, next time you're cruising around pyramidair.com for the insider i'm tyler patner as always don't forget to like comment subscribe let us know if you're going to be picking up one of these dragon claw twos and we'll see you next time